I do have a response. Um, so I guess I'll take a piece of your question, and uh, I got a confession to make. I'm not a historian. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually an anthropologist, so I just do history, so I, I'm like a little late historian. So, um, but in my looking at history, um, I, was, I, I was very incensed some years ago at the fact that a lot of our native histories are not written. And I was very upset to not see them in, in history books. And I took that to the Smithsonian, I did a whole presentation about how historians have known this stuff for so long, yet they don't write it in history books, and they kind of make it all invisible. And I was very mad when I did that presentation because of the, pres because of the subject and because I just gone through this rainstorm outside. It was I was like completely soaked else, <laughs> because they have these like monsoons apparently in D.C. But anyway, um, so uh, I was taken to dinner that evening by two historians from the Smithsonian. They were very interested in a lot of the subjects I brought up, and what they, one thing they brought up is, as soon as you write history, it's irrelevant because every Every moment we're, come, we're discovering new histories, we're writing our histories, and everything we do becomes history in the next moment. And so sources that were not available 50 years ago are available today in archives, and historians and, and anthropologists are, are writing those histories newly because now they're available where they weren't available before. So, uh, so history is always, sort of process of creating almost a redundancy. 